What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and as I am sure you are all aware by now, Brock Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate, is the brand new WWE Champion. When he wasn't even supposed to be in the match until about two hours before the show. So, if you, uh, if you haven't figured it out or you don't know the reason why yet just let me give you a brief rundown obviously at day one it was meant to be Lesnar versus Reigns for the Blue Universal Championship but unfortunately Reigns tested positive for Covid so that didn't happen instead Lesnar was added into the WWE Championship Fatal 4-Way making it a Fatal 5-Way champion then champion Big E defending against Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley, Kevin Owens and now Brock Lesnar. The match was great. It went on just under 10 minutes, I believe, but it ended after an F5 to Big E with Brock Lesnar pinning him 1, 2, 3. But that isn't the uh, purpose of this video. I'm not here to just tell you what happened. I'm here to talk about what's next. What I think is going to happen now. Because Lesnar and Reigns are still feud and it's been rumoured for months it's going to be Lesnar and Reigns at WrestleMania, but you can't have Lesnar and Reigns at WrestleMania if both men have the titles. Or can you? So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that at WrestleMania, we are going to have a championship unification match. The Universal title and the WWE title, both championships on the line, the winner will receive both, and then maybe instead of carrying around both uh, titles, we will get a newly designed WWE Championship, which was rumoured last year, you can call it the Undisputed Championship, you can call it whatever you want, the WWE Multiversal Championship, I don't know, but I think that Lesnar and Reigns are going to unify the titles. Now, not only that, I think that Roman Reigns will be unifying the titles. If that match does go ahead, as I have just speculated, at WrestleMania, I don't see Roman Reigns losing. I see him holding up both championships. But it's all well and good. I'm seeing a lot of people saying that this is probably what's going to happen. This is all like the theory we've come to in our minds as massive wrestling smarks, what we think is going to happen. But we have to try and figure out how we're going to get there, right? If you do a title unification match at WrestleMania where the WWE champion faces the Universal Champion, what happens to the Royal Rumble? Because if you win the Royal Rumble, you face either world champion in the main event of WrestleMania, do you not? So what happens to the Rumble winner? Are you going to tell me that Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar is going to enter the Royal Rumble and win? We've seen it before, or we've, we've seen the WWE champion literally, this time two years ago, WWE champion Brock Lesnar entered the Royal Rumble match. So are we going to see Lesnar or Reigns enter the Rumble and win? Because if we do, I'm not a fan of that. I think that's a massive cop-out. So what I think might happen instead is we have someone else win the Royal Rumble and it becomes a triple threat title unification match at WrestleMania. Because they've already done Lesnar and Reigns twice at WrestleMania. We've already seen it about six or seven, five, I don't know. We've seen it enough times already. We've got WrestleMania 31, WrestleMania 34. If you count SummerSlam 2017, it was a four-way. But SummerSlam 2017, SummerSlam 2018, Crown Jewel. Um, what else was there? And then, yeah, supposedly day one. So we have, we've had it like five times. I'm probably missing out one or two there. But I don't know. We've had it enough. So do I really think WWE are going to do Lesnar and Reigns again at WrestleMania? The title unification stipulation obviously makes it completely different to any of the other ones. But I think they might make a triple threat. All honesty, I think it's going to be a triple threat. I think someone's going to win the Rumble. I don't know who that is. Now... If they didn't have to win the Rumble, I'd throw Drew in there and I'd make that a triple threat. Drew versus Brock versus Roman. But I don't know who it could be. I don't really think there's anyone in WWE right now. I think having these two as champions but also feuding, it sort of puts the Rumble on the back burner because no one knows who's going to win. Which isn't a bad thing because it makes it insanely unpredictable. But I think, once again, just to clarify, at WrestleMania it is going to be either... Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar in a title unification match. Or Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar versus the Royal Rumble winner in a title unification match. But that's just what I think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. That is what I think is next for Brock Lesnar as WWE Champion. Uh, yeah, I'm intrigued to know what you guys think is going to happen. Do you agree with me? Do you have something that's completely different? I want to know. So let me know in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Thoughts Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you 
in the next video. Goodbye.